They said it would be fine. More than fine, the scientists said it would be the safest way, the quickest way, over before we knew it. Well, that part was true. It only took an hour, I, I think. Enough time to reread the first chapter of my manual, Shaping the Dream. Come, my friends, tis not too late to seek a newer world, to sail beyond the sunset and the baths of all the western stars. Tennyson, a newer world. My excitement had grown throughout the hour of my journey, throughout my entire life. I had been chosen. This was my destiny. The teachers had told us we would be able to survive. The doctors told us that moving to the moon would improve our health, that conditions on Earth had become so inhospitable that soon our species would become extinct. The government told us that we were mankind's last and final hope. They all gathered round to watch and take notes as our individual rockets blasted off to the moon. But now I was alone, with nothing but the tattered pieces of my manual, a broken rocket, and my travel pack. Scientists told us we would all land at the lunar base, C Plate 5. It would have everything that we need to survive, hence why they only packed a few survival basics in my travel pack. A knife, adhesive, twine, my manual, a notebook, and pen. Everyone received the notebook and pen to document their experience at the lunar colony. A few meal packets and water were stored in the rocket in case of an emergency. Well, this, this is an emergency. I am definitely not at the lunar base. Not really sure where I am, the site of a crash landing. The last 10 minutes of my journey were a bit hazy. Something knocked me out. I found the cover of my manual, but only a few pages lay scattered in the rocket. Everything in my travel pack survived. Even the notebook and the pen. I've sewn some of the notebook pages to the cover with twine and glued my manual pages that related to my journey in the moon inside. This this will be my new manual, a place to document my experience.